Back home, EFF leader Julius Malema says if the Pan-African Parliament continues with its poor financial management and disregard for the benefits for South Africans, he will spearhead an interdict to suspend its funding from South Africa. This after some members of the Finance Committee revealed that the program budget of the Parliament has gone down from 20 million in 2016 to 5 million in 2017 as some donors lost faith in the institution. It is the second day of the sixth session of the fourth parliament of the Pan-African Parliament and it's down to business already, the business of finance, the crux of the success of the Pan-African Parliament. Old members of this parliament were concerned in the past that lack of accountability and poor financial management would probably lead to donors withdrawing their funding. Cut. I mean, for example, between 2017 and 18, uh, a program budget of about 20 million is now 6 million. Almost above 13 million, 40 million is gone. Even if I were the, fund, the donors or the financiers, I would do the same. Because if you don't want to properly account for it, you don't allow the audit report to be generated and discussed and what have you, obviously people will begin to hold back. There has been challenges in the Pan-African Parliament of accountability. Uh, you would know that uh, in the recent past there has been issues around the even you know expenditures that are very difficult to explain in terms of why, where the money has gone. So we feel, we feel very strongly that that negatively affects the image of the Pan-African Parliament. And walk-in EFF leader Julius Malema, he is one of four new MPs from South Africa and he pledges change. We put a lot of money as South Africa in this institution. A lot of employees here do not even come from our country. A lot of employees who come from our country do not have the same benefits as other employees from other countries. Yet South Africa spends a lot of money on this institution. So we are here to ensure that that money is used for intended purpose. If there's anyone who doesn't want to account for the monies that get to be used, we'll interdict our own parliament from giving them money until they've accounted for the monies that they've received, particularly from us. Malema says he now knows that the Pan-African Parliament has two distinct committees regarding finance. It is this finance committee as well as the audit committee. He says he is yet to decide which one he should be a member of to effect the most change. Ntakwana Ngatane, SABC News, Midrand.